connection. So connect your red to your arterial side, your blue to your venous needle, your venous being your top needle, your red being your arterial to your bottom needle. Once you've made those connections, remember to place your access disconnection on your venous line. Open your clamps, press green to go. Your dialysis will now begin. Let the machine do a full circuit first so that it puts all the saline around the circuit. Once it's done that, you're going to get a wipe. And if you have your heparin, your clexane, your EPO, or your iron, they need to all be given, but they need to be given separately. So on the days they're required, this is what we need to do. We need to get our white line with our saline T attached, and we need to open the white line, white clamp above the white line. We need to take the cover off. This needs to be put onto your pack somewhere clean. It's going to go back on the machine. We're going to use the wipe, and we're going to wipe the connection. Once we've wiped the connection, we can get our drug. In this case, we're going to use the anoxaparin, but if it was your EPO, it would be the same way. Your iron you will be discussed with. So then we are going to put the anoxaparin in, and we're going to put it in the side. We don't want to put it down the centre, as this can damage the membrane. And we'll actually press it, and the needle will go back on itself. This needs to go into the sharps. We're then going to put the cover back on, and then we're going to open the lower white clamp. And we're going to open it for 10 seconds. That gives us enough time to give the drug. This is the same for the EPO, but your iron will be different. And you'll see that in your iron section. Once the 10 seconds are finished, clamp them off, both white clamps, and then give the next drug if you need to. Once all your drugs have been given, we can look at our pressures and look at our blood flow. As you can see here, as it goes around, we've got our arterial pressure, which is quite low at the moment, which is fine. It will go up. And then we've got our venous pressure, which is going to come here in a moment, which is 66. Roughly, you want the venous pressure to be half of the blood flow. So we can start to turn the blood flow up. Start to turn this up at about 50 mil increments. So turn it up, look at your venous pressure, look at your arterial pressure, reassess. And keep reassessing until you achieve the blood flow that you require. Again, we look at our venous pressure. As we can see, it's still half of the blood flow. And today we're gonna to take it up to 350. This is the required flow that we want. You can see the arterial pressure, the access pressure has come up. The venous pressure is well under half. So that's really, really good.